wake-up time. The guest would be gently awakened, perhaps with soft music or a caregiver's calming voice. Morning care. Caregivers would assist with morning routines, such as changing diapers, helping with personal hygiene, and dressing in babyish clothing. Breakfast. A high chair area might be set up where the guest would be fed breakfast. This might include baby food, cereals, and possibly bottles of milk or juice. Morning activities. Activities might involve story time, coloring, playing with toys, or even watching cartoons. Nap time. After a busy morning, there might be a scheduled nap time where guests can rest in the cots. Lunch. Another feeding session this could range from baby food to soft adult foods, depending on individual tastes. Afternoon activities. This could involve more playtime, perhaps outdoor activities if the space allows, like playing in a sandbox or on swings. Arts and crafts. There might be a designated time for arts and crafts, allowing participants to express themselves creatively. Dinner. A final meal time, followed by a wind-down period. Evening routine. This could involve a bath time routine, story reading, or perhaps a lullaby session. Bedtime. Babies would be tucked into their cribs or beds, possibly given a nighttime bottle or pacifier if they prefer. The most important aspects of such a nursery would be safety, consent, and respect. Caregivers would need to be trained to understand the unique needs and boundaries of the ABDL community. It's essential that participants feel safe, cared for, and understood in this environment.